Now the Mi 11X and we all know this is known as Poco F3 and it's been a few days I've not tried a custom ROM on this I've been using it with a stock ROM and that's when I noticed that few days back there was this particular custom ROM based on MIUI 14 that was released and I thought I should install it and while I install it I should make a video for you guys. We are talking about MIUI 14.0.22.12.26 and this is MIUI CSX words. Now in this video I will show you the change log. We'll spend some time on the change log because there are a hell of of changes that they have made and before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going As you can see over here, this was a new year released, which was released on the 1st of January 2023. And uh, it's 3.4 gigabytes, so it's quite a substantial uh, ROM size. And if we talk about the changelog, there are a ton of things, but there are very few important things which are interesting. For example, they have, you know, done a few changes which will improve your user experience. And you might as well not wait for Xiaomi to release MIUI 14 because I feel this might be much, much better. Now, it does say aggressive Bluetooth low latency mode enabled by default. Sunlight mode glitch has been fixed. And as you can see, there is a rapid installer that they have in gaming. They have in-game crosshair things and game macro and stuff like that. So I will be actually using this for a couple of days and I'll definitely think of making a review so that a lot of Mi 11X users can actually try this as a daily driver because this is MIUI and you get good camera quality here as well. Now of course you need to have a Mi 11X with an unlocked bootloader and TWRP installed. Make sure you have more than 50% battery. Make sure that your data is backed up because everything is going to be erased and there is only one file that you will need that is the ROM file. You need to remove your Google account, your MI account, your screen pin, password, face unlock, fingerprint unlock and reboot the device once. Now, once you've taken care of all of this, you are my friend, good to flash. In that case, that is what we are going to do. We're going to reboot to TWRP and to do that, we just need to press volume up and power and keep it pressed till the time you see the MI or the POCO logo. All right, now, as you can see, we are in TWRP. So we will go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data. We will not be wiping internal storage because that is where our file is and this device doesn't have a SD card slot. So if you're using an external pen drive, you can might as well wipe internal storage. Remember, after flashing the ROM, we will be doing a format data that will wipe everything. Once the wipe is done, go to the main menu and go to install. Look for the ROM file and select this option automatically reflash twrp after flashing rom swipe to confirm flash now as always this is a miui rom it will take at least two to three minutes to flash and upon first boot the moment you see the rom boot logo or miui logo all you need to do is press and hold the power button till the device reboots itself and it will boot much much quicker let's wait for the flash to complete all right now as you can see the rom has been flashed and it's really really quick right there are these errors at the bottom which you can ignore now go to the main screen, go to wipe, go to format data and type in yes, which will ensure you don't have any encryption or decryption issues. And we have done the format data. Now reboot system. Now, as I said, the first boot will take two to three minutes, but if you use this trick, the moment you see the MIUI logo, not the MI logo, the ROM logo, just press and hold the power button and it will boot instantly. This is a trick which works for almost all MIUI based ROMs. All right, now, as you can see, we have the new black shark animation over here. So we will not wait for the complete animation. Press and hold the power button and keep it pressed till the time you see the MI logo again or the POCO logo if you have a POCO F3. Okay, we have the MI logo and see how quickly it boots to the setup screen now. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen. We have some pretty fancy wallpapers over here. Uh, Samsung One UI type icons. And uh, yeah, there are very few applications. I don't know why Netflix, Prime Video, Facebook is already there. Uh, really, really weird. But let's actually go to settings and spend some time with this device before I actually review it. So if you go to my device over here, you will see that this whole Monet theme customization is going on, which is a good thing. And this MIUI CSX words logo is here and detailed info and specs over here. 6 plus 2 GB extended RAM. Of course, this right here is Android 13 that we are talking about, as you can see. So it's good to see that now MIUI based custom ROMs with Android 13 are working absolutely fine. Xiaomi have finally added the Monet theming which is coming to this device and a lot other phones. Now, as you can see, Monet theming going on here as well. And if you actually go 
to the wallpaper settings here. Agree. There are quite a lot of wallpapers and there are these black shark wallpapers as well, which in my opinion look really, really dope. So let's go ahead and apply one of those and see if the theme changes. I think uh, Monet works every time you reboot the device. So if you change the wallpaper, you need to probably reboot the device. But apart from that, everything else seems to be okay. So let's actually go to detailed info and specifications over here. And security update is the 1st of December. So because this is a developer beta, we get the latest security update with the latest Android version, which in my opinion is a very, very good thing. And you get all the other good things over here that are available in MIUI 14. So let's go to the main screen once again and let's go to security, hit agree, monet all over here as well. And if you talk about the game turbo, as you can see, this is the latest game turbo that you have and all the features should be working as expected. Now, apart from this, as far as the dialer is concerned, you do get the MIUI dialer over here. So you should not have any problem recording calls. You do get MIUI messaging, which in my opinion is a good move as well. To the left of of course you have app vault and the launcher itself is customized as well so let's go to settings here let's go to more and as you can see now the launcher is pretty customized and it looks different as well and i already can say that it will be a lot of interesting things while reviewing this rom let's actually dive into the camera here so if you go to the camera section you do see that the leica camera mode is available natural and realistic and vibrant as well so if you go to more you have these pro sections and all these amazing things going on so do wait for the complete review and i think i might try gaming on this as well all in all miui csx is amazing on the mi 11x this was the install and quick look of this rom subscribe to phone ops for amazing content like this i'll see you in the next one keep smiling take care goodbye